Let's talk about the three reasons most people don't succeed at yo-yoing. Four, if you don't mind me doing a little self-promoting. First, they don't know how to put a string on a yo-yo. You don't use this part with the loop, and you don't tie this end onto the yo-yo. Instead, you untwist it, and then you can pull it apart and put it directly onto the yo-yo. Second, they don't know how to put the string on their finger. You don't put your finger directly into this loop because it won't fit tight. Instead, you feed the string below that loop, through the loop at the top, just like this. And then when you open it up, you see you have an adjustable loop that will fit tight on your finger. Third, they don't know how to hold a yo-yo. The way you hold a yo-yo is with the string going from your finger over the top of the yo-yo, and that allows you to get a proper yo-yo throw, which has more power. If you hold the yo-yo upside down, very often when you throw it, the yo-yo spins sideways, which you don't want. Fourth, they've never tried a yo-yo that's designed for learning tricks. A good yo-yo like the Sage should be able to come apart. It should have a ball bearing in it so that every time you throw it, it sleeps really easy, which is great for tricks.